first word that I had um, concerning the convention. So I'll be talking to you on two levels, the understanding and appreciating defining moments in the spirit, connecting yourself and key yourself into defining moments so that um, you can become all that you become, you know. If you see somebody is um, 80 years old, he can't remember everything that happened in those 80 years. He cannot remember all the seconds, all the minutes, all the hours. He just knows, okay, he's lived 80 years on this. But there will be certain things and events that he can't forget. He remembers them and he talks about them and transfers them and all that. Those are the defining moments of his life. The things that you can't forget. When you watch a football match that is 90 minutes, and then so many things happen in the football match and all that, but the deciding moments of the football match are the ones that you can't forget. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Praise God. A goalkeeper makes a stupid mistake and costs them the match. Everybody played very well. Everybody did well and things like that. And then, but that mistake... People remember it forever, you know, and um, it, it has a tendency of affecting how people rate you, what happens in defining moments. And the, the big burden of the human being is a lack of understanding of time. We deal with time every day, but we don't really understand it. So we need to um, have that um, understanding, praise God. And uh, so I'll talk about that and then I'll talk about what God gave me this morning uh, number one there are three dimensions of time that you must um, recognize God's time and then man's time Number three, your own time on God's timetable. God's time generally, man's time, and your own time on God's timetable. You must um, understand man's time. We deal with that by nature, the sunset, the sun and the moon, and God put it in life. So you have different time schedule. Sometimes now, if you are in China, this is um, it's something. It will be around 10 p.m. or whatever. Some other people are behind us now. Okay. So, you know, those of us that were here, when we wake up, we come to service and we're enjoying service. Some people are waking up in the night to log on to the service. And then some other people is another day for them. Praise God. But all is man's time. You can look at it on the calendar. You can check your diary and say, okay, this is what is going to happen. Today is July 1, year 2018. That is man's time. And then we can plan. There's going to be election in 2019, right? And then people are planning for it. Now, only God knows how many of people planning for the election will get there. You understand what I'm saying? 
but people plan on human time and all that. And, but then there is God's time. God's time is how he governs and decides the events on the earth. He has a timetable that is following. It's not the same as our own timetable. He's following his own timetable. And the Bible reveals many things concerning that time. He sets it by prophecy. In Psalm 74, we find there verse um, 9. Now David is um, not the one that wrote this psalm. We all, we all say the psalms of David, but it's not David that wrote all the psalms. Is that okay? Some of the psalms were songs that Israel sang as they began to walk with God. And I'm going to come to that when I'm talking to you in the second part of the message. Uh, this man was wondering why God had forgotten them as if God was sleeping and is angry with them. And in verse 9, he said, We see not our signs. There is no more any prophet. Neither is there among us any that knoweth how long. So it's a question of time. But this is not human time. This is God's time. And this God's time is determined by prophetic utterances, by prophetic revelations and communications. So while you can look at um, your wristwatch or you look at the calendar, you see human timetable. You must look in your spirit to get an idea of God's timetable. Okay? Uh, divine visitations come because God had set previous appointments. And people miss it because they did not get the prophecy he knows when he's going to come into different situations and different people's lives because he sets appointments ahead praise god so that's the second time god's time he sets it by prophecy and you must be conscious of what is happening prophetically for the whole world god has a prophetic timetable that is working and moving. Amen. And then we must now begin to find out what should we do. The third dimension of time is your own time on God's timetable. Okay? Your own time on God's timetable. That is what you must master very well. You, as a person, God has marked out a period to deal with every one of us. You may be dealing with your friend now and his time has come, your time has not come. You know when we look at the book of John chapter 7, they came to Jesus, his brothers and the mother said, if you are doing all this miracle, why don't you go out and let people see you? He said, woman, what, has, what, what have I got to do with you? My time is not yet. You can go to this feast, but I'm not going. My time is not yet. So he was conscious of his time on God's timetable. And you must be conscious of your time on God's timetable. So I believe that that's one of the things that um, God does for us as his people to sensitize us to the awareness of time. Amen. Accuracy in time and timing is what gives meaning to life's experiences. Accuracy in timing and time is what gives meaning to life's experiences so we'll be dealing with time in different categories okay i told them when i went to minister them at abuja that um, you must have an understanding of three things the destiny of your membership of the kingdom and then the season of your entrance into the kingdom must have an understanding of that and the prophecies that is hanging on your life those are three things that you must have an understanding of. god always has a destination in mind it doesn't take you from somewhere to nowhere is god is always going somewhere with the world 
with the universe, with generations, with individuals, is always going somewhere. And you must have to understand that you are going somewhere with God. You are not existing in vacuum. You are not on a journey to nowhere. You may be in a country that doesn't know where, what they are doing, but you must know what you're doing because God knows what he's doing. So I told them they must have that. And then God brings you into the kingdom having that destination in mind. The season that you came into the kingdom was not a mistake. Some people find out that God did everything to get them saved at the time that they got them saved. Because if you didn't get it that time, you may have to pay extra. Write this down. When you miss time or your timing, you will always pay extra to catch up. Whether natural time or divine timing. Do you get what I'm saying? If you miss your flight, you will stay in an hotel you pay uh, uh, you, you, it's going to cost you something the same thing with God so God wants us to be accurate in timing and then the season that you come into the kingdom is very very critical to what you can become in the kingdom what you are supposed to become so the time that you came in will be determined or affected by the destination and the destiny of your membership when i got born again the the now, the season that you came in the problems the challenges the difficulties the issues of that day and then the 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 the, the, the visible expression of the kingdom of god that he joins you to because you can't come into the kingdom as a general member of the kingdom of God. You have to be a member of the kingdom of God through a visible expression of the kingdom. What I mean by the visible expression of the kingdom is either you are in a church. In our day now, the church and ministries are the visible expressions of the kingdom. So it can be a church, it can be a ministry. The identification of the visible expressions is attached to the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the teacher, and the pastor. Is that okay? It is not attached to the musician or the dramatist. All those offices are support ministries. Is that okay? If you are, if you're a member of a music band that has, the person has a music band, you are singing the music band, you should be in a church. I shouldn't be under in a music band that the leader does not have a church because that is not part of the kingdom. Is that okay? The visible expression of the kingdom is, a, is connected to the fivefold ministry of his or prophet, evangelist, teacher, and pastor. Okay? And they can do whatever God tells them to do in terms of either have a church, hold crusades, do conferences. So a teacher can have a Bible school that he established and then you are a teacher in that bible school you are accountable to that structure that's a visible expression of the kingdom god can tell somebody to have a church and like dream center is a church so it's a visible expression of the kingdom is that okay and um, so you have that and now those the visible expression of the kingdom is where you are connected physically spiritually you are part of the kingdom when you get born again okay and the season that you came in will be will have different activities how many of you know that there are some there are jobs some years ago have you ever seen a company that advertised for typewriters or typists huh? if you see an advertisement in the newspaper they are looking for typists somebody wants to waste your life because the role of a typist has disappeared by technology. I hope you follow what I'm saying. There are developments in the world today. There are companies today that get some technology. And that technology, when they install it in their office, can remove 200 jobs. So the, the job don't exist again. I hope you follow what I'm saying. There are jobs today that in five years' time, 
they won't be existing again. So if you are not thinking towards the future, you can become stranded. I hope you're following what I'm saying. Huh? Praise God. So our season is different from each other. There are methods that they used to teach us in school that they are not using now. You understand what I'm saying? Praise God. It was a different season. It's the same thing in the kingdom. So when you got born again, there are seasons that we come in. Time, seasons. Season is a period that has its own experiences and all that. How many of you know what they used to call JB? Anybody knows what is a JB? Pastor, they come in, you know what the JB is? What is it? Huh? What, what is the meaning of JB itself? No, wait, wait, don't tell. How many of you don't know what JB is? Anybody don't know what JB is? You don't know what JB is? Okay, I can't wait. No, there, there are a lot of young guys, young guys there. You don't know what JB is? Okay, what, what is JB? Huh? No, oh, you don't know what... James Brown. James Brown. That is, it's a kind of trouser that it goes like that and then widens. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Huh? That is a James Brown. Praise God. Now, you know, they have some trousers now that they call slim feet. What do you they call it pencil, but this, that, this is not real pencil. If you really had a real pencil in those days, you know, my father, when he was alive, none of his boys must put on that thing. And I had some elder brothers, they are, they are gone, all of them, they are, they are gone now. And one of them in particular, when they report to my dad, my father, that he had gone that, he had gotten that pencil, and he's going to go to school. Amen? And um, comprehensive high school that time, and he will go and chase him was an old soldier with the scissors because if you got a real pencil you can't take it off yourself anybody understand what i'm saying here somebody has to help you pull it off if you can take it off they cheated you that was not pencil amen <laughs> praise god so you know now, there was a time that Afro, how many of you know what I'm talking about? Huh? I'm black and proud. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, some, of you, some of you remember, just have that. I used to have Afro hair. And then I had a hot comb that I used to blow it up. <laughs> Praise God. But that season has changed. Because seasons change. So when you came into the kingdom, you seasons make men. Do you get what I'm saying? Seasons do what? Seasons make men. You know, people people say, Well, look at our politicians. We don't have men like um, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, Dr. Namdi Azikwe, and Samadu Belo, and things. They say we don't have them. Because the season is different. I hope what I'm saying. It's a different season with a different set of challenges. Just like in, in Britain, you can't have another Winston Churchill in Britain. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's no, they are not confronting a Hitler. Okay? That they needed somebody to rally them to go to face a dictator. Praise God. So when you come into the kingdom, the season has its own problem and challenges. When I got born again and came into the kingdom, it was the time that God ordained for me to come in because of what I must become. Peter could not have been born now. He will be out of season. People say, let us pray for the days of Elijah. I like that song, the days of Elijah and all that. But we are talking of the days of Titi, John, Nike, Aki, now. Not the days of Elijah. 
when we sing the days of Elijah, Elijah is in heaven saying, are they crazy? I finished my job. What are they asking me to come back to do? What they are facing, I don't understand. I can't deal with what they are dealing with. Moses' season was different from Elijah's season. If Moses came in the days of Elijah, Jezebel would have eaten Moses up. Are you following what I'm saying? And if Elijah came in the days of Moses, God himself would have had to kill him before he finished killing all the people. I hope you follow what I'm saying. And God would tell him and say, my servant, I said, bring them to the promised land. He said, God, wait, I've, this one, let me deal with him first. And because God is one that gave him the anointing and he's using the anointing to kill the people that he used to he's save with him, God will have to say, okay, come back home. And while he's on the way home, he will kill another set. So God, had, God, the seasons were different. Are you following what I'm saying? So you must understand the season that you came in. Now, some of you are here today and you'll be in this convention that there's a prophetic word for you. If you miss this year's GOBC, you will be irrelevant in time and eternity. And you're hearing my voice today. Time is not on your side. Age is not on your side. But there's a move of God for you, this GOBC, that you must respond to. Otherwise, time and eternity will not be kind to you. It's a move of redemption. Some of you are here that this GOBC is just your right that God is bringing. If I, for example, have been born again the time I got born again, and it is this year that I'm making up my mind to decide to obey the call I have carried for the past 35 years, you know that I cannot afford to be careless with this opportunity. Are you following what I'm saying? Imagine if I'm just starting what I've done for the past 35 years this year. And there are people like that. I hope you follow what I'm saying. There are people like that. Because time on the calendar is different from time with God. When Jesus came here, he had just 33 years to live. He was so conscious of time that didn't allow anybody to waste his time. He was so conscious of his own time on God's timetable that when people put pressure on him to go and minister to Lazarus, he said it's not time. Okay? And he must become so conscious of time. So the season that you came in and the visible expression of the kingdom that you came into will have challenges, will have problems, will have difficulties and whatever and things like that. Do you get what I'm saying? Issues that we face. When I came into the ministry, you know sometimes some young pastors come to me today as a man of God, when you enter ministry, you went straight into ministry and you are doing the work of God. You really, you went by faith, you went full time and things like that. And then they go into full time now. Okay, three years later, they are serious, they have a call and then he calls me for counsel, sir, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm giving my best way. The church is not moving the way it's moving and things like that and all that. Are you following what I'm saying? When I started in Malaysia, I was, uh, my salary was 10 naira, my allowance 10 naira a week. Okay? You could, you could look at my records of my expenses. 1 naira, 50 kobo, transport, 50 kobo, you know, and things like that. Transport and things like that. From Malaysia to Ife. You can't do that now. I hope you follow what I'm saying. In fact, last time I asked them for transport between some towns, and they told me the amount I thought they were telling lies. I hope you follow what I'm saying. Praise God. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. And when people look at what we are doing in ministry today, and some people say, well, if that man can do it at Oshobo, I can as well do it in Lagos. No, you can't. If I go to America to do ministry, it will not take me five years to have a church that is bigger than this and build one like this there. Because it is what has been built over the years. It's not a function of environment. 
is a function of a journey. I'm full of no more questions, no more wondering, no more oppression. My answer, my answer. Now, seasons have come. You understand? And when you are in a season, you must be sensitive to timing. When a woman gets pregnant, there are three time periods of three months. Is that correct? Three months. She carries pregnancy for nine months. The nine months period is chronos. Time set. You can't change that. Nine months. Chronos time. Calendar time. Just like you're living calendar years and all that. Have you heard about the six new books from the Abundant Life House? One. Steps of Faith for an Incredible Life, introducing the mini book series. 2. The Holy Spirit, 31 day diet to a renewed fellowship with the Holy Spirit. 3. Divine Destiny, a 30 day journey towards destiny discovery and fulfillment. 4. Leadership, a 31 day journey towards developing the leadership life. 5. Church Membership. It's a 28-day study guide on developing a better and healthy church life. 6. Worship Stepping into a revived worship life in 31 days. They are all written by God's servants, Rev. Olushala and Rev. Oyenike Areoko. Get your copies today at theabundantlifehouse.org or call 0909-001-3229. Zero eight zero three seven two five two one two four. Jesus is Lord. We've got an answer, answer, answer from heaven. My answer, my answer from heaven. I've got an answer, 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 answer from heaven. My answer. Got a knife.